look in the woods. It's another Copic drawing. We're going to have fun with this one. This time I am going to do another Harry Potter inspired creature, but she's also sort of a made up. So let me tell you about this fun drawing. She is a nymph and her name is Nyx. And she's inspired from Harry Potter because in the Goblet of Fire, I know I said this in another video too, but I really love those mermaids in the Triwizard Tournament. And I just love their gills and how they're kind of scaly and whatnot. And so I applied that concept to her ears. Originally, I did elf ears and just, you know what, I wasn't feeling it. So I just kind of erased those and did these ears and they're just kind of flapping around. She's kind of asymmetrical if you wish like they kind of if you imagine her moving they would just be kind of swaying at their own pace and so that's what I was going for with this and then with the neck I wanted to do the same concept but I decided to take it from lizards you know how some lizards necks just kind of flare out you know well I wanted to apply it to her so Nyx is this little purple nymph and you know what let me just rant about this skin <laughs> I've never done skin that's purple before, at least with traditional art. I mean, I've done it on a computer digitally, you know, but it was so hard because I was limited with the colors that I had, I guess. I don't have a lot of purple Copics, and I don't have any other purples with other markers that would, like, go in this sort of family. You know what I mean? So it took a lot of blending and a lot of patience and I was feeling it sometimes and I wasn't feeling it at other times. So it took me a while to like what I was doing, but that's okay. Nyx lives in a forest and, okay, let me just talk about her name first. <laughs> it is spelled N-Y-X, but no, it's not after the makeup or anything like that. I was just looking up mythical names because, you know, I usually look up names when I go to name my characters. And I like unique names. And I thought Nyx was cool. And the website I was on, like, kind of gave a disclaimer. And they're like, sometimes Nyx has a negative connotation. Well, you know what? I thought it was cool. So I'm just going to stick with it. And I just thought it felt right for her being a nymph and I know like some people draw nymphs naked and stuff in the woods and whatnot but I kind of wanted her to have this purple lizard like skin and so she's wearing clothes and so if you don't like that deal with it I'm happy with it and I'm not changing it <laughs> but I don't really know why I do the bubbles on her neck either <laughs> like at first when I did it I was like it's part of her body but then when I started coloring everything I was like you know what maybe it's part of her shirt but then I thought, that's kind of fun that you don't really know what it is, and so I'll let you interpret it, and so you can decide. Is it part of her body or is it part of her shirt? Huh. But other than that, that's the reasons why I drew her, and that's a little bit about her name. So now I'm going to tell you the wonderful backstory. First, let me just stop and tell you this, though. If you want to buy this piece, I'll put the print on Etsy, and I'm going to put the original on Etsy, too. And it's very hard for me to part with my art, but I'm going to do it. Just taking some steps out there, putting myself out there, making myself vulnerable, and I really love this piece. But I want somebody else to love it, too. And I keep hoarding my art, and so this is, I feel like I'm taking a step forward, like letting go of some of my originals. So both of those are on Etsy prints or, yeah the original and I will also be releasing buttons in my store soon. They'll come in six packs so you could have her on a button if you wish. Anyway, moving back on to her back story which is super duper fun. She lives in a forest and she's kind of quiet and curious but she's friendly and approachable. But Usually people don't really understand that Nyx is friendly and stuff unless they get to know her. She comes off as intimidating because she's just so quiet and she's so different. You know, her skin is purple and she has like these weird ears and this weird neck and her lips are green and, you know, like some, like imagine yourself being in this picture standing face to face with her. 
you would probably be a little taken aback, right? Because she's this creature that you've never seen before and you've never seen anything like it. But Nyx has also never seen humans before. And so when she looks at you, she's just kind of like, hmm, what is this creature, I wonder? Do I say anything? Do they speak my language? You know what I mean? And so that's why she's giving this look like of curiosity, but she's not really afraid. She's interested, but she's not sure what to say. And so she's just kind of stroking her chin and she can just thinking for a moment. And she's just standing in front of her home, you know, and in a way she's kind of like guarding the others. You know, she's the one who took a step forward to face the viewer face to face. And I know it's like getting really philosophical, but that's what I was feeling when I was drawing this. And so she's just, you just have to kind of imagine yourself in the artwork. And I think that's really fun because I feel like when I draw, a lot of the times I don't imagine myself in the stuff. And so I hope you guys feel like you're so included with this girl and this nymph, you know, and you're face to face with her. And so that's her story. And if your conversation were to continue with her, I want you to tell me what you think. Would she speak your language? Would you guys get along? Do you think she would invite you into her home to meet all her nymph friends? Do you think all her nymph friends would look similar to her? Or would they all have different colors of skin? I think it's really cool to just imagine this stuff. And sometimes I just get so lost in imagining like a world behind my artwork. Like someday I should probably write a children's book or something, you know what I mean? I just I get so into thinking about it, but it's so much fun, and that's why I love sharing background stories with you guys, and so I hope you never get bored of it, but yeah, it's always so much fun. I just got like so worked up, but yeah, and here I'm going around her in a jelly roller just to make her pop a little bit against the background. I kind of like to go around my characters in jelly rollers sometimes. It just helps things, and I felt like it made it look a little more crisp, so yeah. Supplies I used, Copics, Prismacolor markers, and jelly rollers. That's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back next week. I hope you like what you see, and join the art family. Let's all be friends, and yeah. Okay, have a good week, guys. I will see you soon with another video.